think the Lodgy went for Oro. Sorry, it's going for the compound, I think. Alright, the turn of engaged, wait for us. They're, they're pushing towards me, mate. It's a full squad. Oh, yeah, oh there's God, two guys. Yeah. This takes so much good. Five guys, then. Now there's two guys down here. Bro, don't do this. I might get spotted any second, yeah. I've been spotted. Okay, shoot, 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 shoot. Welcome to part two. If you haven't watched part one, then I recommend that you do so. Link is in the description. In this clip, me and three guys from my squad have spotted some enemies, and we suspect them to have a fob in the area. So we spread out and try to find it. Yeah. Yes. We got. Oh yeah, there's oh God, two there's guys. Many of them. Pushed by the leave the squad. Four. Of them on the build now, but the enemy know that one's there. The squad leader up there as well. This is taking so much. Good guys, do it now. Five guys there now. There's two guys down here. Bro, don't do this to me, fly. Uh, Alright, spread out a little bit, don't cluster up. When going into any situation, I like to mentally prepare myself for how the situation can evolve. And these are some scenarios that went through my mind at this moment. Here my squad is, sneaking through the bushes, hoping to find the enemy radio when we spot all of those enemies on the rocks. And even if we kill one at the same time, all the remaining enemies will focus on us. And we have no hard cover to fight from. All the enemies we kill can just respawn and come back, and we don't even know where the spawn is or how many more enemies there are in the area. Our only options after the first shot would be to rush the rocks and hope to find and block the spawn, or to get stuck in a firefight we're not going to win. Or to retreat. Another way this could go down is something like this, and this is a very common trap that many SLs lead their squads into. My squad is too close together and we get spotted by the enemies. We're all in the kill zone and get completely slaughtered. This is the main reason why I tell my squad to spread out. So if one gets spotted, the others may still have a chance. Alright, spread out a little bit, don't cluster up. Enemies coming from the west side of foothills. Enemies coming from the west side of foothills. Uh, there's a guy looking our oh, way here with binox. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. I... No, I don't think so yet, because he's still. Bino out. Oh, I can shoot first. Oh shit, off. MG on I mark. He didn't see me. Oh, I might get spotted shoot. any second here. I've, just, I've, I've been spotted. Okay, I've been shoot, spotted. shoot, 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 shoot. Two guys over here. Yeah, I can't do anything. Minus two. On Bravo, two. Losing people on my foot, guys. And we have the attack going on. Go on. See you, mini pushing. One more down. West side. Minus two. On you, on you, on you. Please. Thank you, you got him. Just behind the truck, behind the truck. Radio oh, sound gone. Have. In the hub. Camera. Okay, got him. So you find any abandoned vehicles, any with vehicles? We need point. to block the hub. Take down the tickets. Radio, radio, radio. radio. Oh. I it, dig seal. it, dig it. Carl, give him. It's on me. He's on him. They're giving up. They're gonna spawn in now, VMP. Yeah. I'm rushing to the house. We have has been marked down now. It's locked. It's locked. Nice. All dead. Okay, I'll go pick up uh, our other guy. Yeah, see no, let's, yeah, me and P can go pick him up, Celia's cover. 
So how did this work out for us when we were in such a bad position compared to our enemies? You see, because my squad were spread far apart when Wetwipe got spotted, he was the only one within the enemy's focus point. So not only did he open up for us to move in, he also made it so that we could attack the enemy's newly formed flank. This combined with the element of surprise and the chaos that consumed the enemies gave us the advantage we needed to win the fight. And all of it could have been lost if we shot too early. It takes a lot of experience to be able to see the game from an overall picture combined of player, squad and team perspective, and you need to understand this to know when to shoot. But I can boil it down to three main reasons. One, when you're trying to stop the enemies from doing something. So in general, if you see that the enemies are trying to do something, it's a good thing to stop or delay them. For example, you're noticing that the enemies are trying to build an attack fob, well go ahead and attack them to stop them from building it. Two, when you are trying to get the enemies to do something. Maybe your team wants to attack the enemy capture point from the forest east of Cap, but at the moment there's an enemy squad defending that forest. If you then send a fire team to get involved in some guerrilla warfare on the west hills of the cap, there's a chance that the enemies in the east forest will move to the west hill to clear it. So in other words, you bait the enemy team into reacting in a way that you have predicted, and when they do, you take advantage of the new situation. 3. When the enemy is trying to stop you from doing what you want to do. First of all, you have to understand that to get involved in a firefight or to kill an enemy is never the goal but it is a tool that you could use to achieve your goal. The fight itself is just a hindrance for you, your enemy or both of you. So if you are trying to get somewhere and you get caught in a firefight, you have to break free. A common way that I do this as a squad lead is that I take one to three guys with me and just run away. The rest keeps the enemy engaged in the firefight and when I have made enough ground, I drop a new rally for my squad to spawn on. So to know when to shoot, you need to understand what you and your squad is trying to accomplish. And if the goal is to shoot someone, then you need a reason why. What is going to happen when I shoot and how is that beneficial to me, my squad or my team? So to make a complicated thing sound easy, if shooting will make it more likely for you, your squad and your team to gain progress both short and long term, then it's the right thing to do. However, a lot of the times these things go against each other. Let me show you what I mean. This is the scenario. Blue team is defending East Novo and Red team is defending West Stepna. Both teams are fighting for map control around Boat Camp. The fight for the caps are very even, with two squads each around East Novo and one squad each towards West Stepna. So we are going to take a closer look at the fight for Boat Camp. Let's pretend that I'm in the blue squad and I have just respawned after getting killed. I don't know where all the enemies are, but I know where the enemy hab is, and that's my goal. So I'm flanking around to get to their spawn. I see an enemy coming towards me, so I hide in a bush. But I also see an enemy that is about to kill one of my squad members. So do I shoot him? Let's look at this from a short-term squad perspective. If I kill the threat to my squad mate, the immediate outcome is one less enemy in the fight, no loss of precision or ground for the squad. But the delayed outcome is risk of losing important position if I get killed because of it. From a short term player perspective, if I shoot, the immediate outcome is one more squad mate close to help me, but also high risk of getting killed by other enemies. And the delayed outcome, enemies know where I am, so it will be harder to get to the hab, and a risk of not reaching it at all. So what is more important for this situation long term for me and my squad? I say, get to the hab. So I get to the hab, kill a few enemies who spawn, and now my squad have the advantage we need to end the fight. But you can't only think about the long-term effect on your specific situation. You also have to consider the short and long-term impact on the entire game from a team perspective. So from a team perspective, what happened when we stopped the enemies from spawning on Bog Camp? They spawned to attack. Now we are outnumbered on defense and we have one squad just looking for a radio in Bog Camp. And when they find the radio, it has a one minute bleed out time. After that, they have a 2 minute run to Stepne just to get in to fight for the cap. And by then, we have already lost the ability to spawn on defense and the cap is neutral, so we have no chance of a double neutral and we're screwed. 